Hello, friends. Welcome into NFL Daily. I am Tom Downey. The latest NFL rumors coming at you guys on today's show. And we will once again keep you updated on all the latest Lamar Jackson. It's a saga at this point. Uh, his public push has now begun, uh, which probably should have happened a while ago, in terms of what he wants this offseason. Money, what the injury status is, what he's asking for isn't still quite like revealed, which is kind of interesting. So far... No NFL team has stepped up to show even a little bit of interest. There's been the occasional a report of they haven't ruled it out, which is kind of crazy because it's an NFL MVP who's 25 years old. Like, uh, we're allowing people to mock a 25-year-old rookie in the top five, and yet 25-year-old Lamar Jackson are like, ah, yeah, I don't know about that one. Like, is that a route we really want to go? It's it's weird, it's unusual, and it really doesn't make the most sense, uh, quite frankly. Now, sorry, 26 for Lamar, I misspoke. Um, but sets and bet is 26, so it still works. We did break down the top 10 trade destinations for Lamar Jackson earlier this week. Check out the video if you have not already. I will make sure it's linked in the comment section and the description of today's video. But when you're subbed, your notifications are on. You don't miss any of our videos here at Chat Sports, youtube.com slash chat sports TV. I did want to break down some of the apparent issues NFL teams have with Lamar slash the, the why doesn't he have any interest. No agent, I do think, negatively impacts him. It does make the player's life easier to get paid and have a good feel for what the market actually looks like. He does want a lot of guaranteed money, and I think NFL teams don't want to give out massive, fully guaranteed deals like Deshaun Watson did. The, the other owners were pissed at the Browns for doing so. Now... I think that borders on collusion, but you can make the argument, well, every NFL team independently agreed to not do that. But I think that's where we're at for Lamar. The cost of a trade is somewhat expensive, but if you're drafting late first, who cares? There are, he has missed time. Injury history is a potential red flag, the long-term health of being that mobile quarterback. I've also seen, again, the Deshaun Watson one, he missed an entire year of the throwing ACL. He actually gets hit plenty. That wasn't a concern. Different standards for different quarterbacks somehow. And teams have claimed, or leaked I should say, well, we want to see what guys like Sam Howell, Desmond Ritter can do. Unserious claims. Uh, it's just, if teams were full, solely committed on winning the next five years, there'd be a lot more interest in Lamar Jackson. And there isn't. I think the money is a big factor. Why? I know he's missed time with injuries. The numbers have dipped a little bit the past two years, but... I really challenge you guys to put together a top 10 quarterback list that doesn't feature Lamar Jackson. Like, there is, like, Kyler Murray has done nothing in the NFL and got $46 million. Like, Daniel Jones got 40, who, and he's, his best year is still worse than Lamar's worst year. I know he's, I know, I, I get Lamar's missed time the past two games, but. Or two seasons. Thank you, Sam. But like we've se we've seen other quarterbacks miss time and get paid, so it's not an equal application at all. I don't know what ends up happening. You guys make the prediction for me. Will Lamar Jackson be traded? Why for yes and for no? It's the pin comment of today's video. If the ad break comes here on YouTube. Take advantage. Head down there and go vote. Let's talk Aaron Rodgers here. The Jets and Packers are le allegedly are not that far apart in trade conversations. In theory, it would make sense that he that both sides should want a deal done before the NFL draft. That the Packers get the pick now, the Jets get Rodgers in the building before the offseason really or the preseason really gets going there. The only real deadline for Rodgers' 50 plus million dollar option bonus is before week one. Has to be paid out the day before week one. That's your firm deadline. Now, Yahoo Sports and The Athletic have put uh, alleged trade parameters out. The difference is Corey Davis was in The Athletic's one, but that could also still make some sense. Two seconds to Green Bay, plus maybe Corey Davis, and a conditional 2024, that pick in 2024 is conditional, could be a first if the Jets have great playoff success. The Jets allegedly want a 2025 pick back in case Aaron Rodgers doesn't play in 2024, which is kind of crazy. They are so committed to a guy who they fear might play one year 
and yet have shown zero interest in the aforementioned Lamar. That's just it's weird to me, man. Of the two teams, who do you think has the leverage? I'll break down my thoughts here momentarily. J for the Jets, P for the Packers. Who wins the leverage battle in the Aaron Rodgers trade conversation? I think it's the Packers. The Jets have made it way too clear from their own public statements, it's Rodgers or bust for them. There is no plan B. Their plan B right now is Zach Wilson or Matt Ryan or Carson Wentz. Like, there's, there's no plan B for the Jets. The, 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 if, they, if they don't get Rodgers, that regime's getting fired. The Packers can wait if they want to up until a certain point. It would be before week one at some point because they don't want to pay him $50 million to not be around. That'd be bad for them. But the Jets still want him in the building. Uh, I think in terms of the caving, Joe Douglas will play hardball. I'll give him credit for that. I don't know how long owner Woody Johnson will be able to maintain. Also, still objectively funny to me that Aaron Rodgers is going to go play for the Johnson & Johnson team. That's just that's really funny to me. Rodgers is still one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL, despite objectively a down year. He wasn't as good last season. And given his age, it is fair to wonder how much he really has left in the tank. But the Jets and Nathaniel Hackett, seems like the Hackett hiring worked unlike it did, didn't work in Denver. They get Rodgers. They should be a playoff team. Now, the NFL draft hats for 2023 are out. So get yours today. All 32 teams, whoever you love the most, they have the draft hats available. Chatsports.com slash NFL draft hats. Some years these have been not that great. Uh, they've been off. I don't mind the stone color. I think for some teams it looks better than others. Like I think it actually looks pretty good for the Denver. Maybe a little bit less so uh, on the Falcon side. But they've got the flat brim and the rounded brim. Get your hats today so you can rep the same hat that your favorite team's draft pick will be wearing come draft night slash draft weekend. Chatsports.com slash NFL draft hats. Odell Beckham. Again, it's, it's the it's NFL rumors saga today, I guess is what we're calling it. It's all been long, drawn-out things here. Beckham showed up at NFL owners' meetings as his free agency. I might put tour in quotes uh, at this point here. He met with slash was linked to, like from the owner's public statements, the Ravens, Jets, and Giants. And we mentioned the Corey Davis trade potentially for Jet New York. It would make a lot more sense if they also acquire Odell Beckham since he's on Aaron Rodgers' alleged wish list, but also he never submitted it, but did talk players with the Jets. So, like, I, you know, truth lies somewhere in the middle, I guess. I think OBJ's asking price has been too high. I allegedly wanted 15 to 20 million. The wide receiver market did not go above 11 million dollars. And for a guy who's played 21 games the past three years in the regular season, you ain't getting 11 million dollars fully guaranteed, my friend. Uh, I think you got to cut that down. And what he should want to do is sign a one-year prove-it deal, cash in again next year. But I also know that he's kind of did that in the past, so he might be looking for more long-term security. He can still have a team. But I think that team is going to want some potential outs in the contract. So in the end, who will sign Odell Beckham? I will go with the Jets as they hoard all of the wide receivers. Let's hear your answers for me in the comments section. DeAndre Hopkins remains out there in the trade market. The report from Albert Breer is that Arizona's given Hopkins permission to find a trade partner. From what I, I understand... That's not new. That's been the case for a while now. Uh, doesn't Might not actually mean that much. Some conflicting reports as well in terms of what the Cardinals have been asking for uh, in terms of the value. Is it a second? Is it is it a sixth? Is, is it somewhere in the middle? Like They want the second. Teams have been offering more of the Brandon Cooks deal, allegedly. There's been a lot of, of confusion on that standpoint there. Age and contract do appear to be the main concerns uh, on that front there because he's missed time the past two years. He's not the same player that he once was. That That is a red flag uh, for teams, but he's also still, like if you do the 16-game sample size, still better than a lot of the receivers out there. So 
for whatever reason, and you see this time and time again, NFL teams think they're ahead of the curve, and they often are, of a declining player, the interest in Hopkins seems low. I don't think they're going to get the second and change I thought that they once would. This might be a third or a fourth round pick, maybe during draft night potentially. At some point he's going to get dealt, and I think the team that gets him, we're all going to be very, very excited about there. So sound off for me um, here in the comments section. Prediction time once again. Who will end up trading for DeAndre Hopkins? Get those answers in, and we'll spend some more time on a future video with some top destinations for DeAndre Hopkins. Finally, the potential Justin Herbert extension. The Chargers having contract talks with Herbert. He could command $50 million or more. The quarterback market and the salary cap continue to go up. That is how the market works. The salary cap has jumped significantly every single year. What was $40 million three, four years ago is now $50 million or more. And with other big quarterbacks set to get paid, with Herbert being the Chargers franchise guy, you just want to lock him up, do a long-term deal, keep pushing money off into the future until you're bad and he's old, and then you rebuild. I fully expect Herbert to surpass the Russell Wilson contract, which is $49 million per year. And then I think at that point, other quarterbacks will surpass him. You, you'll have Josh Allen do for a new deal not that far from now. Dak Prescott even more uh, quickly than that. That's how the market works. Because if you don't have one of those top 10 quarterbacks, ask the Jets how it's going. Who will be the first to get paid in the end? 10 for Justin Herbert, 9 for Joe Burrow, 8 for Lamar Jackson, 1 for Jalen Hurts. Get those votes in for me in the comment section. Thank you.